Welcome back to another Mobile Centrix Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek and today I'm going to be showing you a repair. Now this repair is something that you might find yourself in need of and that is the 5G antenna. Let's get into the video. We haven't always had to deal with a 5G antenna. It used to be only slightly annoying to remove a motherboard from an iPhone. But now when we have a motherboard that has a 5G antenna, we have to do a bunch of extra work like removing the battery, which can be annoying as those pull tabs are not as good as they used to be. And the reason some of you might be in this predicament is upon extraction, you didn't realize that the 5G antenna was attached to this logic board and it tore. Or in this case, in this video, I'm replacing it because it was water damaged and the connector on the flex was beyond replacement. Let me show you what I mean. I'm working on this iPhone 13 Pro that saw some water damage. And one of the things that I've run into is the connector. Has received a, a, a good blast of corrosion. Tried cleaning it up and I found that two of the pads on the flex cable itself are missing. So I can't just swap over the connector like I normally would. That's an easy swap due to the metal backing here where you can simply touch the metal to a, the metal back here to an iron and the solder will melt being able to pull it off and replace it really easily. But two pads missing, although I could probably rebuild them, it's going to be much simpler to simply get a new flex cable um, and solder it on. So and the module itself also has damage, so this, this makes more sense. The, the flex cable here is already pre-balled which makes uh, life a little bit easier. As you can see right there, it's already got solder on it. I just have to make sure it lines up with the motherboard. And the easy part about this is that there's actually gold guides that, that, that you can see. You just need to line up that and, it, and then we can solder it on. So I'm gonna show you that process real quick. Let's get into it. I'm gonna get out my board holder here. We'll clamp that in place. Now, when it comes to the airflow and the heat, really, we just need to get this as hot as we can, as quickly as we can, so that the heat doesn't distribute to the rest of the board. So what I'm gonna do is just go in there with a high temperature, medium airflow. Take the temperature up a bit higher, about 450. like that. No pads pulled. Perfect. Let the board cool down. All right, so now that it's cooled down a bit, we're going to take some flux. I'm going to get some wick and my soldering iron and we're going to wick up all of the pads. Take some isopropyl alcohol. I'm going to clean up the flux along with all of the old adhesive. With a little bit of elbow grease, it'll come right off. Please take a moment to like and subscribe if you're finding this content useful. The new flex cable does come with some adhesive. So we'll peel this off. I'm gonna flatten this out. This is just gonna melt, so let's take it off. We'll line it up and kind of push it into place there. And then to kind of hold it in place, I'm gonna take some cap tape there and really just try to get it to stick there. We're gonna add a little bit of flux. I forgot to add a little bit of flux. Should be plenty. Line that up again and then secure it down with the tape. 
So the way I like to do this is apply a little bit of downward pressure. It's not like I'm trying to squash the solder, but I want to have a little bit of downward pressure while I heat this up. And I'm going to do it for about 20 to 30 seconds or so. So here we go. Like that. Now we'll let it cool down. You can see that it's pivoting kind of right around the here instead of further back. So I know that it's that it's had the chance to, to solder on. So we should be good. We'll pop it out. And that's how to replace the flux cable for the 5G antenna. So there you go. Replacing the flux cable isn't too difficult. With a little bit of patience and the right tools, it's something that you can easily do. Leave a comment below if there's something that you'd add or a technique that you like to do in this particular repair. And or leave a comment if there's a specific repair that you'd like to see performed. Like the video on your way out. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.